Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me once again for my Let's Play of XCOM Long War Episode 194. We're getting close to that 200 and that wonderful, wonderful break from XCOM that I'm looking forward to, guys. We're going to break through, we're going to defeat XCOM, but the break is going to be sweet, sweet, nice. And yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. I'll be able to focus on a few other things. It's going to be great. Yeah, everything's coming together, guys. Everything is coming together quite nicely, and I'm going to change my schedule up here personally physically soon, so that should help a little bit, in theory. Getting some stuff done. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't believe I would like to do that. Let's hope, we, hope that we can find something decent here while scanning around. Contact detected. Alright, it looks like there's going to be a harvester. I want this thing to land, actually. Where's this at? It's just off the coast of... Hmm. I'm going to ignore the contact for now. It contact is going to land. There's detected. 26. So this is probably going to be between two and three episodes of me getting through this. Alright, there's a sectoid commander, so mind control, sectoids, fine, outsiders, whatever. The mectoid, the drone, the muton, the muton berserker. So no horrible, horrible, horrible giant things that are going to murder us. Should be okay. So this is pretty much like the last time. So we're going to go there and we're going to do some murder. It's going to be sweet, sweet, nice style. Alright, we're not going to roll with... Hmm. Maybe we will let Dale lead this. I think I will. I don't know if he's going to do phenomenally well, but I like the first three choices. You're out. You are probably out. We'll bring uh, the Viking, El Bandita. You are not going to go. And are you the... Really? the? How many people do we have injured or fatigued right now? What is going on? Oh, man. All of our gunners are fatigued. What is go... Ooh, that's not good. Well, it looks like we're going to be injuring a few of our gunners because... Uh, well, not necessarily. Like, we roll with a double gunner strategy for a reason. But... You know what? I think that's okay. I think we're gonna, we are gonna, we are gonna injure a couple of our gunners. So, Sneaky Sneaker Sneakerson, you're gonna be injured. It's okay. Worst case scenario, we'll be fine. You know, you get hurt, whatever. It's okay. I think we're gonna throw Gundy Chow in the mix as well to get injured, so... It is fine. Alright, so we have the double gunner, the sniper, the scout, the assault. We need an MEC and maybe a better medic, though I don't think we have one. So, MEC, what, what's up with a uh, face tank? Was she hurt at some point that I'm just not recalling, or did we use her recently? Oh, she's still down for two days. Wow, do we really have that many things back to back? I don't recall, but okay. Alright, I guess we will be bringing one of our other dudes in. Um... Yeah, let's let Commander Jace come in and play and have some fun. I think that's fine. Alright, we'll make items available. This is one of our more bizarre groups, but I'm okay with it. So Guy Furion might ma make it to Master Sergeant, which is going to be pretty nice. Dale finally gets his shot at uh, victory here and awesomeness. He tries. He tries to be amazing, but usually it doesn't seem to succeed too, too often. I find that anything short of Blood Mantis is kind of a lackluster performance on our snipers. So I'm hoping that Dale can prove me wrong. Occasionally I get surprised. There's like an upset going on, but for the most part it's kind of meh, or kind of if you will. Alright, so Guy Furion is ready. We have uh, the Master Sergeant. Good old Tack the Dragon Rider. Blitz, if you will. And we're going to put you up with the Titan Armor of Death. It's going to be fine. We're going to throw that out. We're going to throw on uh, the Breaching ar Ammo with the amazing laser PP shooty stuff. It's fine. The Arc Thrower. Alright, and the double gunners that are going to be wounded after this, I think it's a, a noble sacrifice that they are willing to make, and I'm okay with that. I'll give you the targeting module, or module, as it were. We'll Aegis armor you up, we'll put the Gatling pulser on you, the armor piercing rounds, all of this wonderful fun stuff, and with finality, a scope. Who knew? Who knew that would be a thing? Alright, next up we have more editation to do. We have the Titan Armor going out on you, the Pulse Rifle. You don't get any of that fun stuff. You get another scope, and with finality, you get the Enhanced Beam Optics. Alright, now it's MEC time to shine. There we go, all blurry and stuff. It's sweet, sweet, nice. It's fine, it's dandy, it's wonderful. Battle Computer Reti, and... Finally, Connor Wosmek trying to make it to that level of awesome that some of the other medics have made. We'll see if it's a thing. Alright, let's launch the mission and see what happens, folks.
How dare they Touching land down. to collect resources on Africa? Don't they know that's where our base of operations is? Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. I'm okay with that. Drop me, buddy. Drop me. The alien craft landed in a remote area, which should help... Yes, it did. That's actually impressive. You were correct once again. That's like twice in a hey, row. Here, this is Big Sky. We're in position and awaiting further orders. All right, where is this aircraft? Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Well, there's clearly something over there. All right, well, we don't really know exactly where they're at right now. Oh, and you're so far away, Jace. What are you doing, buddy? All right, we're going to move here. And already we see something, and it's a mechtoid. Yeah. And it's a super mechtoid, too, so that's actually going to be a little bit challenging. Um, doth I dare attempt to blow it up? Let's see. We'll give it a shot. I mean, I don't have line of sight of it right now, but maybe we can do something. Do some damage there. Again, no line of sight makes me a bit nervous. Alright, gonna throw tack behind there. this, hopefully getting vision. Did we get vision? We did not. Oh, that's not great. Alright. Well, we're going to Overwatch here. Makes me a little nervous. Let's send Guy Furion up into Time the mix here. We're gonna trigger lightning reflexes? Yeah! You better not hit him. Or her. I'd be super unhappy if you managed it. But, it missed, so we're super happy that it did. Alright, taking a look. Dale might have the shot here. There it is, 93%. Let's hope to god he lands it. Alright, he did, so no super amazing, threatening, horrible awfulness should transpire here. We'll put Connor Wosmeck behind cover and throw out some love. Missed. It's okay. It's okay. You're a medic. You're not really designed for combat 100%. Oh, we... Well, maybe we didn't need to do that after all. I didn't think we would have a shot on that. Hmm. Alright, the double tap is real. Well, Bandita, the Viking's gonna move forward. We're gonna try for the hit on the back line. Can't quite do it, though. Alright, well, the 100% at point blank should be a kill. And it is, indeed. Alright, who else do we have? We have you. I'm gonna throw that out there. Looks like we're gonna need everything we have to bring him down. However, we don't necessarily need to do that either. Still, might as well. I might as well do some damage to them. I mean, what are the odds that something. There's really going to come of the drones hitting us. Not super high. So, might as well bring him down. Hindsight being what it is, we could have used a sniper not to do that. I assumed he was too far back since we didn't have vision. He was too far away that our gunners wouldn't be able to shoot him, but I was wrong. Clearly. Alright, there's going to be some mental buff-ups. He's going to move, probably panic someone or do something horrible, mind spike or whatever. We'll be okay. We'll make it work. Alright. It's weird. Now, there's a show that my sister's been a fan of for quite a long time, guys, and it's actually still going. I thought it actually had ended already, so it was my surprise that I found out yesterday that the show is still going. It is on Netflix in Canada right now. And it's a show my sister absolutely loved, and I'm like, usually she has pretty bad taste in television, so I don't usually care for whatever it is she's watching. Like, she was a big fan of Smallville. To me, that was kind of mad. I know a lot of you people are probably fans of Smallville. I just didn't really care for it. But there's a panic. Eh, it is what it is. Anyhow, uh, Supernatural. And I've finally decided, you know, I've watched a lot of stuff lately and I'm, like, running out of things to watch. I'm like, alright, I'll give it a shot. It's not bad. It's not bad. So I, I tend to binge watch when I watch things. Because um, oftentimes I'm doing things that don't require my full attention when I'm doing um, stuff on YouTube. Like, when I'm recording, obviously I'm 100% focused or 99% focused. Occasionally I glance at other things or what have you. But... For the most part, there's focus involved, right? Well, when I'm doing the rendering and uploading and all that, I don't have... There's a lot of just time where I'm sitting around waiting for things to finish. So I don't have to focus 100%. And that's kind of neat and cool in the fact that I can do other things. Occasionally I'm trying out new games or I'm doing stuff like that. So I have a little bit of a better understanding for, like, say, a first look video. A game that I, I got sent to me or that I requested that I want to do coverage of. I actually spend the time playing or learning that game a little bit, so again, better prepared, right? So that's the play, the plan, the goal, the hope, the dream, whatever. 
Um, so I binge watch. Well, my w I asked my wife. Uh, I want to say like six to eight months ago, as we just slowly murder off all these little dudes here. Uh, six to eight months ago, might have been almost a full year ago. I'm like, hey, you want to check this out? My sister really, really likes the show, and I see it was on Netflix, and I'm like, do you want to watch that? Because we don't really watch a lot of TV together. We have different tastes and things that we think are good or bad. I'm rolling. So she decided, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I'd like to watch that. And I bugged her three or four times, and then she never really followed through with it. So I told her I'm watching it, she's like, oh, you wanted to watch that with me? Okay, so now she has to play catch up, and I'm already in the, like, season two. So she has, uh, like, 25 episodes or something she has to watch to catch up now. So it's like, well, crap, now what do I do? I have to watch something else. Eh. So, it is simply what it is. I'm not a big TV fan in general. Like, I don't really watch a lot of TV. But, like I said, doing certain things where I have to sit here and do stuff, or I have to sit here and wait, and I don't want to do other things because it's too involved or whatever the case is, I'll watch a 30-minute show, an hour-long show, and then continue on with whatever I'm doing. And if I have time between, I pause the show, and I do whatever else I need to do, and then I continue. So, yeah. I have no idea why I decided to share that with you guys, but it, it's just it's one of those things that are mildly frustrating because, you know, I'm ready, I'm eager, I want to continue watching it. It's got like 11 seasons, nine of them are on Netflix right now. I want to see what's going on. I mean, I'm not like super hardcore in indebted or like intertwined with the story, but it's decent, it's not bad. I mean, I can't say that about every show. There's several shows that I've tried watching that I think are just terrible. So, when I find something that's at least palpable, palp I can't say the word now. Palatable? There we go. Hey that word. I want to watch it, you know? I'm like, alright, cool. I can watch it, I can absorb it, I can use my mind. And then, you know, I watch it and I'm done with it. Uh, there's a few exceptions where I'll watch things more than you once, like Psych, obviously. I watched a few times. I have watched Suits a few times as well. I'm not sure why exactly, because I don't think that's Moving. anywhere near as good as Psych. But I do find it to be a really good show. I should watch Chuck over again. That's a really good show. If you guys have never seen Chuck, Chuck it's a pretty good show. You should check it out. Or Chuck it out, or whatever. Well, we murdered a tree. That's kind of impressive, so... It is what it is, guys. And I want to say we're going to do probably three more turns, and I'm going to break off this episode. So this one's going to be a little bit shorter. It might take me three full episodes to finish this, or well, two full episodes on a slightly shorter one. We'll see. But I'd say within three turns, we should be pretty much done with this one. As far as I'm going to go today, and then tomorrow we'll continue on with more wonderful XCOM activity or stuff. Alright, let's go get Jason to a horrible position. That seems like a great idea. It actually didn't work out that bad. Alright, can Dale, in all his omnipotent glory, land his 48% shot? Let's see. I'm gonna say no. I am right. That doesn't really surprise me. It makes me sad in many, many ways, but it doesn't surprise me. Alright, we'll move Connor Wosmeck up to the front. And then we're going to, of course, move the entire line up ahead of Connor Wilsmeck. And things are going to look pretty decently. I'm going to try to get everybody at least in position in front of the ship before Stepping we break off this episode. And that should be pretty good. There's some more first looks that I'd like to get taken care of fairly soon, but it's going to take me a while to get through. Uh, like, there's so many, guys. There's so many games that developers want me to cover or that Already I there. want to cover. I'm still trying to see if Splooch can get one of his uh, things fixed up and working. Uh, Secrets of Grindia. I did a little tiny bit of coverage of it on um, after the the live stream one day. I played for a little bit with Mutanot, and you guys uh, got to see if you were at the stream. That's a game that I'm really, really excited to show some coverage of. Unfortunately, I haven't got a chance to because the developer was kind enough to uh, include a few copies for Splooch and Mutanot, so we can do a co-op version of it. There's up to four people that will play, and we're going to play with three. But again, Splooch, uh, he's having problems. It's not working on his computer, and I'm not entirely certain as to why. That's the thing. So we've been trying to get that to work. We've been dealing with the developer. He's been trying to help us out. But again, nothing doing. So not sure what the play is or what the plan is. But it's just simply not working. All right, a 50% shot, and we're going to land it here. And we blew up one of those little pods, too. Not great for whatever was in the pod, but... You know, it is what it is. Alright, we have the high ground advantage, and we see nothing, which I don't hate. I'm not opposed to seeing nothing coming to kill me. I am opposed to moving pretty far like that in a bold fashion, as I just did, and then seeing lots of horrible things coming to murder my soul. That makes me a little bit sad. I do weep openly when that happens. 
Just in case you guys were confused or concerned, you should be. Alright, let's get everyone into position here. We'll end the turn and then we'll move everybody behind cover and that's where I'll break off the episode. Not a bad little mission. I think we've had some pretty good uh, moves here. I'm glad that I chose the plus three movement for tack. It's really, really nice. At least I think I chose the plus three movement. Maybe I'm thinking about one of my other people. I don't know. I think he's still got lightning reflexes as well, or she has lightning reflexes, so... Either way, we can trigger overwatch shots with a little bit... Well, I wouldn't say impunity, but a lot less risk, we'll say. Sounds like there's something off to our right. I'm hearing movement over there. So perhaps I'll go take a peek over there with one of our individuals. And by one of our individuals, I mean our giant individual. We're going to go out super wide with this and see what we see. Oh yeah, there's a whole little gaggle of mutons there. I just want to kill us a lot. Oh, I thought we broke the game. Nope, we did not. Alright. So the game is not broken. However, our sniper is ready to do some murder. And I think I am okay with that. Uh, we have a 100% chance to murder his face. We're going to do so right now. Get ro- Oh, what? What? He lived through that? How is that a thing? How is that a thing? Alright, well... Well, crap. Already For lack there. of a better term, crap. Alright, we're going to maneuver ourselves into such a position that we're going to be able to just melt fools left, down. right, center, up, and down. Did not work at all how I had planned. We're going to move over here. I imagine grenades are going to be pretty nasty coming our way. Oh, we have... We have some potential play here. I'm, I'm liking this. Alright, 88%. Let's take it. The crit is real. Please tell me... How that was a possibility? Alright, the 33%. Probably not going to... Oh my gosh, it hit. Sneaky Sneakers Sneakerson. Doing mad work, folks. Alright, the 70% is real. Unfortunately, double tap is going to trigger. I'm not a massive fan of that happening, but eh, it is simply what it is. What do we have now? What is our other play? Tack can move in and maybe get a kill here. But I feel like if we do that, we're going to risk dying. Ah, maybe not. Alright, we're going to give it a shot. We're going for it. And we're going to hope that Tack is as bold as he, as he is stupid. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. Tack is fine. I'm just playing really, really super bold right now. Ooh, that guy has vision of us. Hmm. Alright, well, we're going to go for this. And we missed. Of course we did. Why wouldn't we miss, Target's right? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, what do we have? We have a 55%. That does not seem like a very good percentage for us to survive. There we go. We'll throw out the smoke on all of us. And hope that's enough to keep us alive. But we'll see. I just can't believe Tack didn't get that kill. I also miscalculated exactly where the enemies were. Alright, well there's no firing done, so we'll backspace it up. And we'll let the enemy take their turn. And then cliffhanger! And it's going to be sweet, sweet, nice style, guys. Here comes the shot. Actually, on our medic, which got hit. What? How is that a thing? Our medic is behind a smoke cloud and behind cover. I'm going to hope it's the high ground, low ground Watch advantage. Alright, Tax probably going to get wrecked a little bit here. I think he might end up being okay. We'll see. Alright, going to move there. We are behind cover here. We're suppressed. That's okay. And he's going to move up and... Oh, that's actually going to stop our Overwatch the shot. Outside. There's no way he hits that. Oh, if he hit that, I'd be so incredibly unhappy. Alright, one final risky shot here. I don't know where he went, and it doesn't look like he's going to shoot. Oh, he is going to shoot. And he's going to hit, too. It's alright. Tack likes the med bay. We all know this. This is a thing, folks. It's a thing. Alright, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode. I know! I know, you're all like, what's going to happen to Tack? Are they going to be able to survive? Who's on first? All these questions will be answered in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. But for now, I leave you with the ultimate cliffhanger. Our medic kind of got wrecked. Tack is suppressed. There's a guy right on top of him. All sorts of people looking down, ready to murder him. But it's our turn, ladies and gentlemen. And you know how we roll. Tack will be out for at least 18 days. But he'll be back, or she'll be back, stronger than ever. Anyhow, guys, as I said, that's going to do it. I will see you tomorrow with more XCOM Long War. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.